right, guys, uh, I'm like really excited right now because I got my boy, um, celebrity, uh, movie star, television, everything, Jonathan Sheck, here with me. What's up, kid? Man, it's been a while. It's been a while. We've been here for a while. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So, right now, we got, you're in Texas Rising. Texas Rising from the History Channel. On the History Channel. You guys can check that out. Um, I've known Johnny for a, for a while. Yeah, but we shouldn't tell him how long. No, no, no. It's been six weeks now. <laughs> six weeks. That's all we've known each other for. Uh, and, and something I, I've respected about you is that even though you're in the industry, um, you know, you continuously work through the years. One of the things is you always worked out. You always worked out hard, too. Um, you've always had a great body, and, and you just didn't rely on the good looks and all that, which, which I admired that you were more of a barbarian and an athlete, not just one dimension. Yeah, that, that the body plays such a big part in a lot of the characters that I played, like Houdini. One of my favorite, Houdini. You guys got to check that out. When I had to play Harry Houdini, man, I got in thick shape. The first time I ever did flies before because I had to do all those escapes. So I really had to focus oh, on getting it right. cool. You know, I used to build the muscles up top, but I had to get it on the inside. Right. Yeah. So that's cool. I, um, so today we thought we'd do something that we haven't done, or at least I haven't done, is um, an ab routine that we do. Uh, to make sure we got those abs, because you never know when that shirt comes off on the TV. You got to have the abs, right? It's the TV like uh, the abs when you take off the shirt. I and nowadays, man, all they're doing is uh, making uh, superhero movies. Right. Yep. So you got to have the physique. You got to have it. So the one thing that I notice is, and I don't know if you agree with me, it's it's good round shoulders and abs are the two body parts you need when you pull that shirt off on TV. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, the wider, you know, the old school, you. <laughs> I know you guys at home are like, no, no, I want to see like some leg training and back training. I'm telling you, it, you can't be just one dimensional. This is so much more than that. And so when it comes to television, um, even look at The Rock right now. Uh, the Rock has tapered his physique to where it's just that wide shoulder down to a narrow waistline. And I think he looks great. Yeah. Um, you want the old, old school thing that everyone goes, I want to look like that guy. Yep. You know, that's what Arnold used to say. He's like, you want to look like that guy. That's yeah. the thing. See? Just go to some Arnold stuff there right there. All right, so follow along with us. This is uh, this our little ab workout that we get ready for when we film TV and movies. Or him, movies and TV. Me, not so much. Yeah. We know. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. So you see how we start. We start developing the lower abs first. Because that's really like that key point that mostly everybody, everybody has that upper ab. But it's that lower. Yep. Girls like that too, just so you know, man. Alright, a little bit more lower abs before we move on to the upper abs. Basic. Old school Roman chair, right? Everybody's gonna kick all the way back, sit back, chest up, keep it out here. One problem is that's a lot of hip flexors. So what we do, we change it up a bit. Arch the body, come forward, rotate forward. Now, just rotate from the hips up. There you go. Now you're keeping the tension on it, constantly. 
Nice. Nice. Come on, come on. Gotta get ready for the next one, right? Oh yeah. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> So there, try that one out. You're gonna like this, guys. Good. Isolation, key. Yeah. Focus on it too. It's a small movement too. You're staying tight, contracting the whole time. Your legs are locked in. You're not just extending the legs and pulling them back up. You can see we're going 15s, 10 to 15, and that's doing enough work. What I like to do too is I like to touch it and just feel that the concentration, the contraction doesn't release. Look at that. More advanced, you can go straight leg if you want. You can do it in the snow outside, Rocky style. Whichever you want, man. One more set, three sets. things. He's just kind of keeping it low for me. Thank you. Keeps my, keeps my uh, ego like. <laughs> All right. So that's what we did for lower abs. Now we're going to continue on up into the upper abs. My recommendation, I don't know if you agree with me on this, always start with the lower abs. Fatigue yeah. goes first. Because the hip abs are so much stronger, they can still go from there. Yeah. Same one? Yep. Exactly. This is the most important. Yeah. And then the other part of this is as much as you train those abs, you got to train the lower back too, okay? It's a give and take. Um, you're going to get overdeveloped abs and you're going to get a weaker back. That's when the injuries start happening. That's what I see with uh, everybody in the industry is uh, their backs are so developed and they skip their ab work. Yeah, right? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. No, no, no. So, Even sitting in a chair, you need these. Right, yeah. right. And everybody's hunched over in the chair. So both sides, both sides equally as important. Let's do it. Upper. Nice little superset action. this having a training partner keeps you moving quick right through it right through it no rest feet up. He's coming up higher. You guys that are really advanced, man, follow this. Alright, so what you saw with the cables, we're working a little bit of the side. Um, 
it's a small, small movement. It's more of a contraction and a feel too when we're doing this. It's not, you don't need to go straight to the side. It's your isolating, you're feeling it. You're feeling everything. And that's one of the things, it's, I know you might think it's silly that you're at home and you start posing in front of the mirror, but understand this, unless you have a mind to muscle connection, a lot of this is a waste of time. That's so true. You know, it, that's, it's, that's old school philosophy, but still the most important thing to, to my, really round that muscle, really get into that muscle. To fully understand that. And, and you know this, because you're, when you're on set, you can't be worrying about this, that, and the other thing. And the guy, you're doing the Houdini, Houdini when you did that. It's like you're doing all those moves, and, and your body had to look a certain way, but you also had to move a certain way. And that, that took time and a lot of, a lot of exercise and mind and muscle connection. Yep, absolutely. So that's what we're doing here. And this we're doing basic old school stuff here. You didn't see a lot of advanced stuff. Um, I'm sure not about the, uh, the the advanced stuff. I think the basics are the fundamental on everybody. It's something you should always go back to and uh, keep working those. These are just crunches and knee ups. Something you can do at home. And, it, and it's killing us. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so on this, four sets here. Uh, everything else we did, same thing. Four sets. You can work up to 25 reps on everything, and that's our ab workout. We're done. We're done. We're out here. The sexy, the talented, the humble Jonathan Sheck. Guys, check him out. Um, for me, Michael Hearn, we're going to bring some more stuff.